Greetings, Cyberdogs! This is Rendog coming at you from just outside the Desert Temple in this Let's Play Minecraft 1.4 survival series. In the previous episode, we went on a freaking sweet ass adventure from our brand new Ocean Harbor and we found this freaking Desert Temple in the middle of the freaking desert! Oh man, this is so freaking sweet and this is the first time that we've ever um, seen a temple before in this series and man, I just want to thank all of you guys who gave me such incredible advice, advice in the comments section of the previous video. Thank you so much guys, here is a high five for your asses. Man, I know exactly how to tackle this freaking temple now guys. There is a pressure plate in this temple that is connected to nine bits of TNT and if anything, including water, um, items, any kind of stuff touches that t um, pressure plate, this whole temple is going up in freaking smoke, people. So what I want to do, and guys, I've just fixed up the mini hole, mole hole a bit also. The OCD was kicking in, man. I had to get that sorted, and I, I switched the door around also. As some of you guys mentioned that the door was the, the wrong way around, so thanks for that, guys. <laughs> man, you guys have as much OCD as I do. But guys, I have decided that I am going to attack this temple from a completely different angle. I'm going to come in from the side. And uh, man, Terra is just ripping this stuff up. Check how awesome Terra is, man. Damn! Terra is just tearing through this business. But I, I am going to attack this temple from the side rather than going down from the top. Now, what you guys have told me is that if you go from the top, there is a piece of blue wool. And directly below that blue wool is a pressure plate. And if you break the blue wool, the, the, the blue wool item actually hits the pressure plate. And you know what happens after that, man. Kaplam is what happens. And um, a lot of you guys have spoken about going, uh, digging sort of around the pressure, the, uh, the, the, the pressure plate. Okay, I think we've hit the temple, guys. Um, and some of you have spoken about building um, a gravelator down into the into the temple itself and i thought that all of those were sweet ideas but i think that they are pretty risky and i wanted to attack this freaking temple from another angle holy goodness check what's going on up in here man Ooh, hello so there is the plate the, the pressure plate there is the blue wool that you guys are talking about oh my goodness that was actually quite close um <laughs> those freaking stone blocks almost landed on that pressure plate so what we need to do guys is get down into the loot room basically um and just dis disable that pl pressure plate and what i also want to do is try and find the tnt because we can actually use that tnt for the witch's cave man so this is like a this is like a, a win freaking win of note man this is so sweet and um, this is kind of like an archaeologist's hut, right? <laughs> this mini mole hole. And uh, we are going into the freaking tomb of Tutankhamun. Um, somehow in ancient Egypt, they had TNT though. Um, and they rigged their freaking temple with TNT. So that's kind of worrying. Um, there's the TNT underneath. Whoa, oh my goodness gracious. Okay, people. Hold up. This is precarious. Bam! Pressure plate disabled. Hello, TNT. Get in my freaking belly, baby. Oh, my goodness. And look at the sweet-ass chiseled sandstone also. Oh, man. This is epic. This is what um, is, is now going to be known as an epic whip from now on. Terra, pick up all of this jazz. We actually need this stuff for the Lakeside Villa, to be honest. Um, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like a Tomb Raider, man. <laughs> like, this, this temple's been here for centuries, and I just come here and pillage it breaking it and taking all of its jazz um but hey man we we abandoned the preservation of the environment ethos a long time ago when we started uh, blowing up the, the the mountain to make the <laughs> the nether portal temple so um, nothing has changed it seems right so let's collect all of the sweet these sweet ass bricks and then we are going to check what's in these chests i'm so excited man who knows what's going to be in there i have no idea what, what what are the quality of items that you can get in here get out of my freaking life um whatever that was and this bone can get the hell out of my life too and this rotten flesh all right here we go guys um right i'm just gonna pillage a little bit more of the sandstone how many stacks have we got we got a we got a good couple stacks i don't want to take too much what is this one what the hell is that a different one so we eat oh man this is so epic Okay, sweet, man. I think what we're going to do is, um, let's try get back up to 
the level of the chests here here we go and do i have any more wood left what i'm thinking is about making like a nice little wooden platform here um i know that if i just leave the temple like this my ocd is going to go crazy so what i need to do is make like an archaeologist platform right this this is exactly like what an archaeologist would do right they'd find a pyramid and then they would take all the sweet ass loot from a pyramid and then they would build sort of uh, support structures and whatnot to explore the pyramid further you know what i'm saying um seriously if i was a, an archaeologist in ancient egypt and i found a pyramid that no one had found yet i would pillage that thing like nobody's business man before anyone else arrived i would go to the pharaohs i'd take all the gold all the sweet ass loot and then i'd just say that the, that the the, <laughs> the the pyramid was pillaged by freaking bandits um very unethical i know but what, what are you gonna do man sue me um all right here we go guys we are gonna open these chests oh man i am so excited i don't know if i have enough space for any of the loot in here though so um let's see what can we get uh, get rid of let's just get rid of some jazz before we open these chests. i'm so freaking excited let's get rid of this gravel um that gravel we do not need this pressure plate can piss off too and this flint get out of my life flint do not want you no more all right, let's do this, baby. Oh, man. Okay, first chest to the left because I'm left-handed. Kablam! Gold! We found gold for Granny Dog's monument. Sweet! Oh, that is epic, man. More gold? Yes, more gold. A whole bunch of... Um, hmm, it looks like pharaohs. <laughs> it looks like the bones of pharaohs, which is sweet. More gold! Yes! Oh, my God. 19 gold so far. And some irons and, and a little bit more gold, too. That is so epic, people. We got 22 gold out of this bad boy and 9 bits of TNT. I would say that that is a, a successful pillage um, of this, t this temple, man. That is so epically sweet. Oh, man, that is epic. Okay, so let's go into the temple from the top. Um, let's... Uh, a lot of you guys have told me that there is actually no... There are no traps in the, the upper regions of the temple. So I'm not going to worry about that um looking good looking good looks so sweet and what's in here man any sort of oh god it's the pharaoh man he reincarnated as a skeleton and somehow he got his ass a bow <laughs> no idea how that happened right man this temple is so freaking awesome i definitely want to make like a house out of this temple check how sweetly this is done this is actually giving me loads of inspiration for the lakeside villa how do you make this block what the hell? What the hell, man? How do you make this block? What is that block? Chiseled sandstone? Chiseled sandstone. Oh, man. How awesome is the texture for chiseled sandstone, people? We are definitely getting getting uh, chiseled sandstone going in the Lakeside Villa, man. Right, guys. Let's torch this place up. Um, because we don't want any other... We, we want to now preserve this temple as, as well as we can um, because it is freaking sweet and here is the blue pressure pad of hell um, okay so this is we're gonna put a torch on that pressure plate and let's go and torch up the um, the outside also oh man this is awesome we have liberated the desert temple from its resurrected pharaoh who <laughs> who resurrected as a skeleton with a bow and uh, we dispatched his ass pretty quickly and um, sorry, Pharaoh, man, I have now 100% uh, taken ownership of your pyramid, man. May you rest in pieces. Maybe we're going to have to make, uh, <laughs> maybe we're going to have to make another grave for the Pharaoh who we just murdered um, in the graveyard. There we go. So now let's just get some torchage up in this business. Um, let's try just keep it a, a little bit neat, shall we? Let's try keep it a little bit symmetrical where possible kaplam alrighty guys this has been so freaking sweet let's just get a couple torches up around here um, I'm definitely going to be coming back here and pimping out this freaking um, this desert temple to I mean I'm going to pimp this bad boy out so it's going to be crazy <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't even have adjectives to describe how much I'm going to pimp this temple out, guys. But it is going to be freaking sweet. Oh, man. Epic, guys. Well, let's have a freaking high five for an, an epic desert temple lootage. Kaplam! Man, that was epic, guys. So, 
what I'm thinking, right? The sun is, um, well, the sun is heading on down, which is not good news for us. We only have 18 torches left, so let's make a couple more torches. Um, let's throw caution to the wind, people. Let's head in this direction over here. Let's see what we can discover. I'm kind of in a, in a discovering mood, if you know what I'm saying. Let's make a couple more torches. But the problem is that, man, we are just stock full of all of this freaking rubbish. And um, what I think I'm going to do is make a chest in our mini mole, mole hole up in here and drop off some of this loot. Just to give us a little bit more space. Um, let's, let's drop off like the important stuff that we don't want to lose, right? So like all of this jazz. Um, and we'll, you know, we'll, we'll be back here to come and collect this a little bit later. Um, the gold I think we'll keep in case we go straight back to the mole hole and the, the TNT guys because we can use the TNT. To make the witch's cave this oh man th seriously this adventure has just has just turned out so freaking beautifully i, I couldn't have uh, like wanted it to turn out any better this is so sweet man um all right leave some dirt behind right let's do this guys Ooh. awkward all right guys so we've got the de the desert temple waypointed the mole hole is in that direction um, but that looks like a jungle to me, right? And you know what we haven't discovered yet, people? Jungle temple. Uh, or a jungle... I don't know what exactly they're called. I think they're called a, a jungle temple. But we haven't found a jungle temple yet. And I want to find a freaking jungle temple so bad, man. Um, if we can find a desert temple and a jungle temple in the same adventure, that would just be... Oh, man. That would make this doggy one happy, happy dog. So I'm going to head in this direction, see if we can find a jungle Oh, this doesn't actually look like a jungle at all. This just looks like... This just looks like a no... Oh, this looks like the... This looks like spawn, actually, where we first spawned. Maybe this is spawn. No, no, no. The molehole is a thousand meters away. So basically, the temple is about a thousand meters from the molehole. So that means that we're going to need roughly a thousand um, bits of rail to make a rail overland railway all the way to the temple. That seems like uh, a lot. <laughs> hey doggy, what's cracking? Whoa! Oh, there's a temple. I mean, there's a desert. I mean, what? <laughs> there's a jungle. It's what I was trying to say. Um, oh, check out the moon rising in between that canyon. That is... Wait, the sun is going down. Hmm. Okay, well, we've got our diamond sword. We can handle it, people. We can handle this adventure. Let us see if we can find a freaking jungle temple. Ooh, there's a cave up in here. Oh, man. It's calling us in all different directions, people. I don't know what to do. All right, let's do this, man. Let us head in this direction. Is this a swampage? Ooh, there's a swampage over here also. Maybe we can find a witch. Because we haven't seen a witch yet either. And um, none of our old chunks would be able to load a witch. Is this a swamp? There's a slime. Oh, man, maybe we can collect some slime balls, too. This is a good opportunity to collect some some freaking balls. Get in my belly balls. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Come on, little slimes. Get in my belly. Oh, God. Oh, God. Clam. Ooh, damn. <laughs> um, I forgot about that hissing sound. Oh, skeleton, take it. Eat it. Ooh, damn. What? Wait, hang on. What's that? Oh my god, is that a witch's hut or something? I have never seen that. What? What the hell? I've never seen this structure in Minecraft before. What is this? Oh my god, guys. I think we may have found a witch's hut or something. Look, there's a shroom growing there. Oh, <laughs> this is sweet. Okay, let's see if we can get out there, man. Hello? Are you a dangerous witch? Hello? Hello? Man, how awesome is this? Guys, what the hell? What is this? <laughs> this is epic. Right, let's get up there, man. Hello? Ooh, hello. Oh, is, what is this? Is this a cauldron or something? A, a crafting table? What is this? What is this thing? I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm looting it, man. Let's see. Oh, it is a cauldron. That is epic. And what is this? A flower pot? Sweet. 
Okay, well, this is sweet. I, I don't know what it is, but um, it's pretty cool. I mean, if we ever come out here again, maybe we'll make like a nice little swamp village or something. I don't know. I, I can't make more projects. Don't make more projects. I think what we'll do is just like put a torch up here. This is so awesome though, man. What is this thing? Hmm. Oh, well, it's pretty epic. <laughs> um, let's explore the swamp a little bit more. Maybe we will find a witch. I have actually no idea what a witch looks like um, or how it spawns. So come here, Slammy. Oh, you're going to take Rambo to the face. Rambo, load up. Ooh, lucky bastard. Man, there's a lot of sheep around here. Ooh, lucky. Kaplam. 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 <laughs> oh, man. Oh, epic, guys. This is so freaking sweet. I'm loving this adventure so much. This is like our first real 1.4 adventure because we're... We're, we are loading like 1.4 chunks and I mean everything everything we're doing now is like the current version of Minecraft You know what I'm saying? I mean, I think the molehole was made in version Man, I can't even remember. Maybe some of you guys can remember. I think version 1.2 Something like that crazy stuff man 19 slam balls sweet Man, this is some freaking sheepage going on up in here. Oh My goodness check how many freaking creepers this is Oh my god, this is this is not this is not looking good, man. This is a ton of freaking mobs. Man, I need to get more accurate with Rambo. Bam! 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 Sniper! <laughs> Take it! Take it! Woo! Man, check out all these balls! Die bastard! Ooh. Epic. Well, we need all this gunpowder. We're definitely going to need more TNT if we're going to do any more terraforming up in this business. Um, right. So, guys. Swamp. We are in Swamp. There was nothing in there, unfortunately. Um, was hoping that that would be a witch or something. But we did get a cauldron. That's going to look really good in our witch's cave. That's for shizzle. And, um... Ooh. What's going on down here? Maybe... Maybe witches spawn in caves? So why don't we have a look, man? Maybe they maybe they spawn up in here. Hello, madam. I hate to disturb you, but I would like to kill you. Um, I hope that's okay. Ooh, this is looking. Oh my god! Die, butt bandit. Sweet. This is looking suspiciously like a witch's cave. This is actually a really cool cave. Check it check it out what's going on up in here, man. There's like sandstone and stuff happening. Hello? What is that? What is that? Oh, it's just grass. <laughs> oh. Alright, guys. Well, I have no idea how okay, hang on. Let's let's con Ooh, hello. Now we're talking. Now we're talking adventure time, baby. Mm. Alright, well, let's do some looting, man. Um, oh, goodness, guys. This has been such an epic adventure. What a great start to 2013. Let me tell you guys. I'm having so much freaking fun playing Minecraft, man. Oh, it is like... Ooh, I killed that water source. Sweet. Um, it's just... This game is just so freaking sweet. And, oh, man, some of you guys were mentioning, mentioning a new game called... Ooh, hello. What is happening down there, man? Uh, some of you guys were mentioning a new game called Blockscape. And uh, I had a look at it, and it looks kind of interesting. It it, it kind of looks like a pimped out version of Minecraft. Um, it looks like it, it's well, it's, it's the same mechanics as Minecraft, right? It's the same genre. It's the Minecraft genre, but the graphics look like a lot better. But you know, I'm I was I was never a guy who um, cared about graphics, and I have a feeling that maybe Blockscape is just like um, a gimmick game, right? It's like Minecraft does exactly the same mi thing as Minecraft, but it's, you know, it's claims to have, like, epic graphics or something. Man, how sweet is this? This shaft is absolutely crazy. I've never seen something like this before in Minecraft. What is going on up in here, man? I'm kind of curious. I kind of just want to go down and explore. Maybe we'll find some diamonds. Sweet. 
well it certainly is populated with mods mobs we got to be careful though man because we only have freaking iron armor we don't have our like protection diamond armor anymore there's some gold sweet well it was definitely worth coming down here just for the gold man seriously gold is like our most precious commodity at the moment even more so than diamonds for shizzle you know you guys know what i'm talking about right right let's get all this jazz up in our buttholes <laughs> eat dirt bastard right gold nice we also need a whole bunch of iron man we're definitely going to need a whole bunch of iron to make um, our railway plans looks like we have just opened up a giant cavern man holy goodness this is crazy um whoa batty you respawn baby welcome welcome on this adventure good to have you back nice more gold it seems like we've been finding a ton of gold it seems no 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 comply um not good not good we've also got nine sticks of tnt on us this is not good times Ooh, damn but um it seems like we've been finding way more gold than usual right is it just me or have we been finding way more gold than than is usual Maybe they made it more, uh, appear more regular in the new chunks or something. I don't know. The thing is, like, in my... Oh, that wasn't smart. Um, in Minecraft, um, gold doesn't actually do much yet. I suspect that, that, that they will make it more, uh, more of a valuable... Look at that, man. That is... Oh, oh Lord. Back up, son. Back up. Ooh, damn. All right, we are definitely going to be exploring this canyon, man. Look how sweet it looks. Whoa. Oh my goodness, guys. Sweet. All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, it looks like we've run out of time, my people. So I'm going to have to end the video here. But in the next episode, we're going to cont continue exploring this um, giant freaking cavern. Look oh my God, that looks awesome. Um, we're definitely going to be exploring more of this. Um, who knows what we're going to discover? These are brand new chunks. These are new 1.4 regions. I have no idea what we're going to discover. Plus, we've got Terra with us, so we can just rip through all of these ores. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as I've enjoyed playing it. Looting that temple was absolutely epic, and I cannot wait to continue. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. I've got an arrow in my ass, <laughs> or in my shoulder. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching and remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed the episode And if you haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button before I get angry with your ass Guys, it's been Randog playing Minecraft 1.4. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye my friends